Todoist recently introduced a beta calendar feature. How does it work and how useful is it? Let's have a look. Here inside Todoist, the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate a project. I'm gonna show you the calendar view inside a project because currently in the beta, that's the only way that the calendar view exists. There is no overall calendar view yet. It's just on a per project basis, okay? So that's why I'm grabbing a project here from my templates area, high level project. I'm going to rename this. I'm gonna say prepare for December 27 meeting. So this is a project related to Toastmasters. If you're not familiar with Toastmasters, it's a big international organization with lots of local clubs or chapters, if you prefer, where people come to work on their public speaking skills and their leadership skills. So I'm a member of a Toastmasters club in Amsterdam and on December 27th, I'll be the host of the evening. So there's a bunch of things that I need to do and it would be good to do these things at certain times. And that's where the calendar feature comes in. Here I have this project, which I put under my Toastmasters high level project. And now I can use the view button over here and set up the calendar view. This is still in beta. So you do need to be a so-called experimentalist. Basically you need to have signed up for to do with beta features. And then you're gonna see this. You see how it says there's a beta feedback button right here. So the to do is devs are listening, which I, I really, really love. And so this is what the, the calendar feature looks like. It's not very useful like this, of course. I'm gonna flip over to December and I'm gonna show you how you can use this. If you click this panel over here, you're going to see tasks without a date. So these are all my tasks in the project and I haven't assigned a date to any of them yet. And what I can do is as I start assigning dates to these, they're gonna show up on the calendar. I can also create new tasks so I can click on any date and then I can create a task and it's already been assigned that date, okay? And, and the project that we're in, of course. But here I already have my list because I'm, I'm working from a template here. So this choose meeting theme. So we always have a theme for the meeting. I wanna do that about two weeks before. So in, in, before the meeting. So in this case, December 13th, okay? And so when I assign that, you're gonna see that this task is gonna show up at December 13th. Now I haven't assigned a time to it, showing up at 0000, okay? But it's listed on the calendar. And I also want to do some technical thing with the meeting theme and I'm gonna assign that as well. Okay, so now I've got two tasks right here. I need to communicate with people People who will be giving a speech that evening and ask them to do some stuff like can you fill in your speech title and that is something that I'd like to do maybe one week before so I'm gonna set this for December 20 and I'm gonna do this on December 20th as well and so in this way what I can do is I can really plan things ahead of time so for example we work with an agenda so people who come to our meeting you know there's a nice agenda of how's this meeting gonna work what are we gonna work on first today what are we gonna work on second I need to do that day of so I need to do that on December 27th is when I need to print physical copies of the agenda to bring it to hand out to people and so that I'm I'm doing on December 27th. And so you see how this is going, right? I can assign a date to every single task in this project right now. I'm not going to do that because in the end, I don't want to stress myself out. If I plan my days very intensely ahead of time, who knows what's going to happen? I mean, this is more than two weeks from now. Maybe I'll be super busy this day and actually I'll end up doing this on the day before. So trying to be careful here and cautious and not over planning ahead of time because the further ahead of time you go, the more uncertainty there is, okay? But you can see, of course, that this is very handy, right? If I'm planning my week or, you know, doing my weekly review, I can see ahead of time, oh, right, these are some things that I'm going to need to do that week. Now, what are some of the limitations here? The big obvious limitation is that this only works on a per project basis right now. So what I really want is I want to be able to go to upcoming and I really want to be able to go and click view here and have a calendar here doesn't exist. But the reason that I want that is because I want to see all of my tasks from all of my projects in one integrated calendar view, right? That's really handy for planning. Unfortunately, that does not exist yet. So that that's that's a real big downside right now. But the Todoist folks know this, okay? I would also like to see a weekly view. So right now, this is a monthly view, right? And if I start times to this, so let's say I want to do this on Wednesday or 1 p.m. to 1.30. And I want to save that. Now I've got a duration, but that duration, I can't see that, right? I can't, can't I, it, it's listed here but first of all it cuts off the name of the task so it's kind of there's some ui things that need to be worked out it's also not very helpful if this is not a weekly view right by contrast if you use the to do is Google Calendar integration, you can see that stuff. So if I open Google Calendar right here, now we're looking at December 13th. See, I have a Todoist calendar right here. If you wanna learn how to set that up, I have a whole course on Todoist where I'll teach you how to do that. And this is pretty handy. And I can even on Google Calendar, I can even say, you know what? I think this is gonna take, this task would not actually take me an hour, but just as an example, I can say that's gonna take me an hour and I can go back into Todoist. And now what you'll see is this actually synchronizes, right? So um, right now the Todoist implementation of the calendar is a bit rudimentary. Right? Whereas with your Google Calendar integration, you can do a lot more. You can, of course, also see your other tasks, your, or, or sorry, your actual events 
from calendars in addition to tasks, right? So I'm very happy that Todoist is working on this, but right now it's really just like a small bit of what I really want. Like I want my outside calendar events to show here as well. I think it's a fantastic start though, right? There's not that much more to it than this. Let me show you how it looks on iPhone and presumably also on Android, but I, I have an iPhone. So if I go into my prepare for December 27th meeting, project, what you'll see is automatically it's already showing it to me as a calendar view because that view choice syncs between, in my case, my Mac and my iPhone. So if I want to see it as a calendar on my Mac, it's also going to show as a calendar on my iPhone. I actually don't like this. I'd like to be able to set that on a per device basis. Maybe there should be some global setting, synchronized views between devices or not. That's something that I would love to see. Anyway, this is what it looks like. And I can scroll down and you'll see that on December 13th, those tasks are listed there. And if I scroll through to December 20th, and my other tasks are listed there as well. If you tap no date at the top right, you're going to see a list of tasks without a date. And if you press the schedule button, it'll actually schedule all of them right away for a date that you choose. Um, so if I press schedule, then I can tap December 27th, and then tap done and then all the rest of the tasks will get put on december 27th okay so if we're popping back over to the mac now and i'm going to flip over to december you'll see that there's a ton of tasks here now it says 10 more these are all listed over here it's not necessarily how i would do my planning but just to show you how it works i think this is a fabulous start question is how are they going to develop this? So one of the people working at Doist, the company that makes Todoist, Hugo, he works on the Todoist product. He recorded a little video with some explanations of what's coming next. They are going to have that integrated calendar next for all of your Todoist projects together, which is absolutely fabulous. They are going to have a weekly view as well, which is also great. Again, what I would also love to see is I'd love to be able to pull in my calendar events for my actual calendars for my calendar app. Yeah. And so that I can see both my calendar events and my scheduled tasks at the same time, that would be really helpful. Now, another thing I would love to see is I know that at some point to do is just going to work on start dates. This is something that I need to do latest day of the meeting. So really there's this due date, really the due date is the 27th of December, but Todoist only has one type of date. So at some point, Todoist is going to get a feature called start dates. They've publicly said this, it's just it might take a while for this to happen. And once that happens, then you can say, well, I'm going to start working on this on December 20th. I'm, I'm planning to work on this on December 20th, but the last date that I need to do it by the hard deadline, the due date is December 27th. So that's going to be cool. And once they develop that, uh, my question is, how are they going to implement this on the calendar? Because what I would love is to have a task show up on the calendar with the earlier of the two dates. So let's say the due date is the 27th, but the planning for date is the 20th. And I'd like this task to show up at the 20th, perhaps with a little label that's like, due date December 27th or something like that. Anyway, that's what I would love to see for the Todoist calendar. This is the state of it right now. It's going to improve. And if you want to try it out, turn on the experimental features in Todoist. The way you do that is you just go into settings and under advanced, you can turn on experimental features. And then you can try this yourself as well. Be sure to use the beta feedback button if you do have feedback for the Todoist team. And in the meantime, if you want to get the most out of Todoist, check out my free Todoist cheat sheet. It's in the description below the video. And also check out my course, Organize Your Life with Todoist to learn an entire system for being more organized and more productive with Todoist. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. See you next time. Ciao.